Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Preacher Man 75 uh, coming back with a uh, hopefully short video on uh, the High Point C9 Compact 9mm pistol. I wanted to just talk briefly about my experience with the one that I own and hopefully that'll be helpful to anybody that's out there thinking about buying one, uh, maybe looking to get into uh, pistol shooting for the first time. Um, first let me tell you, I bought mine uh, 2009, I believe it was. Um, bought it on sale at a gun store, my local gun shop, um, for about $120, I think, I think it was $119.99. Um, with tax and uh, ammunition, I got out of the store for less than $150. Um, so, so not that's very inexpensive for um, for any handgun really, but especially for a nine millimeter handgun. Um, and realistically, in 2011, I think you're probably looking at more like $150 retail for for that gun. But still, um, well below the price of any other nine millimeter that you'll find out there. Um, I kept my gun for about a year, and the, the reason that I bought that gun was I wanted to see if I would shoot. Um, I hadn't been shooting in a long time. I didn't own a handgun. That was my first pistol, and I wasn't sure how much time I was going to spend out shooting. And so I wanted to uh, to not spend a lot of money, but wanted to just to have one to see um, if it's something that I would enjoy and something that I would go out and do on a regular basis before I ended up spending any more money on uh, on a gun like that. So um, that that was my my reason for purchase. Um, I did end up shooting about 500 rounds through it, I guess, over the course of a year, um, and, and enjoyed it. It was a fun gun. Um, I did have some jamming problems with it, um, and uh, you know there are other reviews of the gun that can tell you all about um, all about the functionality of the gun and things like that. That's not my, my purpose in doing this. I just wanted to to uh, to be uh, a voice in the crowd. Uh, hopefully that, that can be helpful on a practical standpoint of, of what you would do with, with a gun like the, the High Point 9. Um, if you are someone thinking about buying the gun, if you haven't ever shot a handgun before, and you're just looking to get into the segment without uh, spending a lot of money, the High Point may be a good way to go for you. Um, it's not um, a terribly reliable gun. You will have jamming problems with it, feeding problems with it. Um, different things like that, um, but for going out and target shooting, for clinking, um, just um, shooting for entertainment purposes, the High Point's a fine gun. Uh, it's not going to be a concealed carry gun for you. I don't think it's, it's heavy, um, probably too heavy to carry, I would think, um, and, and probably not reliable enough, I, will, I don't think, to, uh, to use as an everyday carry gun or a home defense weapon for that, for that matter. Um, I'm not down on the gun. I enjoyed having it while I had it. Um, it served the purpose. It served the role that I used it for. Um, but there, there are other choices out there um, for certainly for home defense at that price range that would be better and more reliable. I think you could take the hundred and fifty dollars that you would spend on a high point and, and buy a pump shotgun probably just at Walmart um, that you could use to defend your home um, more efficiently. Um, then and reliably than what you would with the high point C9. Uh, that being said, um, I, I wouldn't discourage anyone from buying it um, for for other reasons, for plinking and, and entertainment. Like I said, um, it's a gun you can throw in the back of your truck and not worry about dinging up. Um, there's videos on YouTube of the guys that were trying to destroy it and they, they virtually could not get the gun to fail. Took them four videos and I don't know how many tries at blowing the gun up before they got it to fail, um, and so you're not gonna not gonna hurt it too much by letting it ride around in your toolbox or your glove box. Uh, you don't have to baby it, um, and, and so for those purposes, if you're just looking for something to throw in your truck and ding around with and not worry about, the high point would be a fine gun to shoot. Um, if you're looking for a home defense weapon, like I said, probably a pump shotgun is going to be better for you. Um, if you are thinking about a carry weapon, um, you probably want to step up in class a little bit. Probably want to put a little bit more money down um, and, and get at least into the, the class of the, the Keltex. Um, I have a Keltex PF9. Um, that's not my carry weapon, 
everyday carry weapon, but I do have one. I think it is reliable. Um, it's lightweight and easy to carry, and probably about $100 more than you would pay for um, for the high point, and, and well worth it if you're talking about wanting a gun to carry. Um, but, like I said, I'm not down on the high point. I enjoyed the gun while I had it, but you have to get it for the right purposes. And if you're looking for a gun to, to beat around with or to carry in the woods or to, um, to leave in your truck, high point would be fine. If you're looking for a, an entry-level weapon that you're going to shoot every once in a while and just see if you enjoy it, um, something that you can get into and, and get out of, because actually there's, if you, if you look around on the internet, there are people looking to buy the high points. Um, you know, get in, get into one. Um, that that would be fine also. But uh, you need to be realistic about what you expect from the gun, and that's I think what is missing on some of the videos and um, reviews that you see out there that are so down on it is um, it's not a Glock, it's not a Kimber, it's not a Sig, it's um, it's a high point, and um, it's priced at one hundred and fifty dollars, and you do um, at some point get what you pay for. So. Um, that's that's where I stand on it. I wouldn't discourage anyone from buying it if they're buying it for for the right purposes. Um, but on the other hand, you need to be realistic about what you expect from it. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful to you, and uh, we'll catch you again later.